I'm the Dolphin Executive Director of the Aquarius Foundation. This is always one of the high points of the conference uh, for me. This morning, very briefly, the first half hour, we're going to recognize some of the very significant contributions that individuals have made to our community over the course of the last year. Just before that, we have one or two uh, housekeeping announcements. There was a little bit of confusion yesterday about the uh, buffs on the program. We're going to update the program today, we hope, so that they're clearly marked on, uh, on Lanyard. But um, in case there's any doubt, if it's in Gasland, it's a buff. So Gasland, buff. Remember that, you can't go wrong. <laughs> Uh, I have been asked to promote the uh, the lightning rounds that uh, happened at lunchtime today. Make a note of that URL very quickly. If you have an experience of teaching or developing or any other aquarium related activity that you want to share without going through a submission procedure, then please sign up at that URL. So, first of all this morning, uh, it's time to recognize those who have made innovative or transformative use of Sakai in their teaching activities. Uh, this is the, the sixth year of these awards. Uh, they have played a significant role in the Sakai community in the past. In networking innovation throughout the community and that's a tradition uh, that we intend to maintain in a period an important tradition uh, i'd like before we move on to the awards to recognize the work also of the selection committee salva would you mind standing up and the other committee members who've been involved in the the selection process thank you thank you very much Again, these, these awards for the last five years have been sponsored by Arsenal, one of our significant commercial affiliates. This year, they're sponsored by Asahina International, which, as you're aware, uh, acquired the Sakai uh, part of Arsenal earlier this year. Uh, and I'd like now to welcome uh, Takashi Takakawa from Asahi to say a little bit about Asahi uh, and introduce the importance of the awards for that. Thanks, Dr. Simon. Thank you very much, Leanne, yeah, for your kind introduction. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Take Takekawa. I am a president and CEO of the company Asahi Net International. Uh, first of all, uh, congratulations to all the winners who uh, received the, uh, this year's uh, Teaching with Sakai Innovation Award. Uh, for those of you who haven't uh, heard much about As Asahi Net International, um, Asahi Net International uh, is a global company um, originally coming from Japan. And our parent company uh, is the company called Asahi Net in Japan. 
which actually doesn't doesn't have any relation to the inside of the ear at all. <laughs> Sorry about that, but <laughs> but, um, but we are the public company in Japan providing the uh, internet related services throughout Japan and global actually. Um, and we have a history, over, the, over 20 years of history of uh, providing internet service uh, with a strong uh, financial success as well as a strong track record in the customer satisfaction. And in fact, we have had a strong relationship with the company Ausmart, um, as you know, one of the long-standing uh, commercial affiliates in the Sakai community. We have been building the uh, trust and relationship over time, and we have been actually indirectly um, investing in the Sakai community through the uh, investment in Allsmart. And then we uh, decided to expand our partnership uh, this year by acquiring um, Sakai division from them. That, that was happening in April uh, this year. And with that expanded partnership, we now have the uh, dedicated Sakai uh, team in Scottsdale, Arizona. It's more focused, with more uh, expanded network, and with more resources. And we, um, as Sahin and International, are very much committed to the Sakai community, just as Alzman has been since the uh, uh, foundation. And we, as Sahin and International, are also very much committed to the innovations uh, just as Alsmart has been again uh, for a long time. And in fact, um, one of our mission of the company, uh, our piano company, is bringing innovation to education. So we are very happy and honored to be able to sponsor this wonderful award. And we will be uh, you know, sponsoring it for a long time. So um, I, I would like to uh, you know, appreciate all the, first, first of all, the uh, a very foundation member for giving us this opportunity. We would like to uh, say thank you to uh, all the selection, selection committee member again for your wonderful works. And and also we would like to uh, thank you know all of you uh, for this uh, great opportunity as well because uh, without all the innovations happening in the community and without all the submiss you know, applications actually submitted to the awards, this award program would that about program that have worked. So thank you very much for all of you for the great, uh, great uh, opportunity. And lastly, um, as one of our small innovations, um, and with the permission from Ian actually, I would like to uh, give the winners also the, the introduce the winners to the small gifts. Um, just I, I just came from Japan actually. Um, this is the uh, pudding made by um, this guy, <laughs> <laughs> Chef, uh, Chef Hiroiki Sakai. You know, he's the Sakai guy. <laughs> and he's the uh, chef owning his uh, nice uh, French restaurant in Japan, so I asked him to, uh, you know, to give it to me. And, um, and uh, he made it for the winners, actually. And, this uh, message card said that um, you know he made an innovation as well. Uh, his innovation with this is that this pudding was made without any preservatives, um, but it's good in quality for a long time at the normal temperature at anywhere in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe that I will have no problem sending it to uh, Cape Town or Amsterdam or wherever, wherever the winner will be. By the way, I did take a lot of testing and quality assurance. <laughs> <laughs> so I guarantee the quality of this. So congratulations again. So I hope that we can keep our innovation going on for a long time. And, um, and we are very much looking forward to uh, supporting that for a long time as well. And I myself, again, I'm very much looking forward to working all of you for a long time. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Sam. And uh, I noted as the, the 
board conducted extensive testing of those games. <laughs> we really couldn't pass them on without that. But uh, on the back of the label, they're described as a, a delightful harmony, which of course really sums up the, the, the last 10 years of... Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> no, no, really. Um, so, it's with uh, great pleasure that we move on to the, the recognition uh, of those individuals who've made contributions in innovation to uh, teaching with Sakai over the last year. Uh, the first of those is Aridan Moon, visiting professor of communication science at the University of Amsterdam. Ari, could you hop up and collect your award? Research Design, a hybrid course, Cheryl Brown and Cheryl Hodgkinson Williams uh, from the University of Cape Town. And the third of these awards, uh, Alan Berg, Tim Bloom, and Hans Deckers. Soft project Software Engineering, BSc Computer Science, of the uses of Sakai. University of Amsterdam, again, go Amsterdam! <laughs> and thanks once again to uh, our sponsors as how you make these awards uh, possible. So it's the tradition of the Sakai community has been a tradition for the last several years to recognize individuals who make a, a great contribution, a voluntary contribution to the, to the life of the community. Again, that's a tradition that we wanted to keep and take forward. So this year we have uh, Sakai Aperio Fellows and Jesuit Aperio Fellows. We've extended this to the former Jesuit community. Uh, I'd like again to thank the folks who worked quite hard on the selection process. Uh, Robert Sherrod from the University of Hull and Seth Terrier from Columbia University. Could you stand up, please? University. Matthew Jones from Longside. First of all, Eric Dahlquist, University of Wisconsin. Harlan <laughs> Johnson, Rathbone Polytechnic Institute. Laura 
McCool at University of California at Merced. some milling around at the front here, so anybody who's just got a fellow shirt, you're going to come back out to the front in a moment because we want some snapshots. <laughs> Likewise, the, uh, the Twitter award winners. And while we're doing that, uh, we'll be setting up our keynote speaker this morning, uh, Marilyn McMillan, VP for Information Technology and Chief Information Officer at uh, New York University, winner of an EduCourse like Lifetime uh, Award is going to talk about openness in the 21st century university in a few moments. So, uh, winners, back down to the front. Let's get a few snapshots and we'll set Marilyn up. Thank you very much.